Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman. Same promo code, 10% off at checkout. Both of these are fantastic deals, and they help support the show. What is up, Planeswalkers? There are six back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. And today, we're not just playing Darkness. We're playing Advanced Darkness. Uh, this is just a mono-black historic deck that I wanted to play, because uh, it includes Massacre Worm uh, and the Phyrexian Obliterator. Uh, it was really hard for me to nail this deck down. Uh, this is this is what I started with. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of cards, a lot of different options I could have uh, gone with, uh, and this is this is what I ended with. Um, I had to take a lot of cuts. I'm running no four drops, <laughs> or no no four ofs. Sorry, uh, <coughs> and I hate that. I'll be honest with you. But let's just go through the deck. Two Heartless Acts and two Grasp of Darkness. Uh, in general, I really like the value of Grasp of Darkness. Uh, being able to just, you know, hit things that may have counters on them, uh, such as uh, Pell Collector or, let's see, uh, Gruel, Smashy, Smashy Gruel Woman, whose name I always forget. Um, and for what's worth, it also can hit uh, Questing Beast. Heartless Act, though, can deal with a bunch of other things that are bigger, but uh, don't have counters on them. Elder Gargoth, even though no one plays those other things, I suppose. Three Yarks Fenlurker, uh, just decently a good card, a nice card to start off with. Forces your opponent to exile a card from their hands, uh, fantastic because it exiles. And, you know, six around, it's something that you can annoy your opponents with. Uh, it's just generally decent. Two, Elspeth Nightmare, I just really like this in Model Black decks. Gives you some nice creature removal uh, early on, gives you a duress effect on a second, and then, of course, exile in graveyards is pretty relevant uh, nowadays. Uh, Speaking of exiling graveyards, what the hell? <laughs> I just got a response on a uh, Coheed and Cambria subreddit. Uh, apparently, I'm like the only one who thinks that uh, the light and the glass off of uh, In Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth uh, is the weakest uh, on that album. Not a weak song, it's just on that album. Like, there's tons of bangers, and that's like not one of them. I, it's possible just it's a, a slower song, and that's why I'm not as big of a fan. Anyway, we're not talking about Coheed and Cambria right now, we're talking about this. Uh, we have two Cry the Canariums, as I said. Having exile effects is very important to me, and you'll notice that I'm playing Massacre Worm, and this cares about creatures dying, whereas Cry of the Canarium actively doesn't have them die. Uh, same with Extinction Event. In general, I do like the Massacre Worm being able to continue to force your opponents to uh, lose life. However, when I'm working up to Massacre Worm, I kind of just want the things to exile. And that's the same reason why I have Extinction Event here. Three Murder Strider, uh, this destroys things for what it's worth. Uh, it's a decent early game card where we can either yeet something out of existence uh, and then play it for a two uh, a two power lifelink creature, or we can just play it as a two power lifelink creature in certain scenarios. Three Phyrexian Arenas, uh, sometimes you're going against control and you just need to draw more cards. This helps. Three Dread Presence, I absolutely love this in mono black decks because you, you, you play a swamp uh, and then you either draw against the control decks or hit things and gain life. It's fantastic. Uh, we already talked about this. Two Tendrils of Corruption. I absolutely love this card because of how it, how well it deals with aggro decks. Uh, you just hit something, yeet it out of the world, uh, and then you gain life too. Not bad. Three Phyrexian Obliterators. It's Obliterator. Uh, no one seems to be playing like any counters to Obliterator per se, uh, other than like, you know, normal kill spells and exile spells and whatnot. Uh, but no one's playing like Justice Strikes and things. Uh, so Obliterator, uh, it's fun to just hit fools with Obliterator. It's great. Two Eldest Reborn, it's a mono black deck. I wanted to play some Eldest Reborns, so I am. Uh, theoretically, I should be playing more Grey Merchants, but if you if you consider the deck, there aren't necessarily a ton of black pips that are always going to be on the board. Uh, and I did want to make this a, a relatively different from my mono black Devotion deck, um, especially since, like, th this essentially is like a middle a middle between uh, the mono black Devotion deck and then, like, something akin to Chromatic Black. Obviously, it's not Chromatic Black. It doesn't have any Chromatic Lanterns, so doesn't play, you know, Golos and things like that. But they're, they're similar, like, ideologies of, of deck gameplay and stuff. So this essentially is a halfway through, uh, and G Gary is just halfway. Three Massacre Worms. Uh, I wanted to play with this card. I love this art. Uh, Jason Chan does fantastic magic art. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's a cool, cool thing. Cool thing kills things. Uh, is a cool big worm. I love the art. The, the, that horrifying Phyrexian smile is just great. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we have a single Ugin Spirit Dragon, because uh, if we didn't, then... Um, what kind of uh, what kind of magic player in 2021 would I be? Oh wait, this is 2020. 
Shut up. This is my mana base. Uh, we got four Baron Moors because, you know, sometimes we're just going to want to get on TV and just let loose, but it's can't. It's cool fun time. <laughs> I'm going to stop saying that before it gets uh, vulgar. Uh, we have 25 lands, and sometimes we might draw too many, uh, so I added in some Baron Moors. Two Bajuka Bogs, main deck, uh, in order to be able to just hit those annoying uh, graveyard-based strategies. Two Cabal Strongholds. I only run two because we don't have a ton of Swamps. Uh, another thing that kind of makes Dread Presence not as good, same with uh, Tendrils, but we're not running a ton of swamps um but from time to time we'll be able to get uh, some decent value off of this cabal stronghold once we get later into the game and then two castle locked away very similar reason to stronghold here uh we do want something that can draw us cards if we need to uh but generally speaking we don't want too many uh because we don't want our hand to be clogged with too many of our non-swamps uh 13 swamps two fields you know it, it's it's cool it's whatever it's tucka, tucka, tucka. there's a net in my eye and i'm gonna i'm gonna freak the fuck out <laughs> it's still ranked I've not played this deck yet, because uh, I have no time to do anything anymore. Uh... Ah, shit! I forgot I was answering that question today. Uh, oh. In fact, please. Cool. Alright. BD Hiccup. I don't get it. This hand is what I would like to call sufficient. We play this on turn one because this does not produce black mana by itself. Uh, we're going against a Yorian deck though. Um, does that matter? I don't think so. Uh, it does probably mean we're going to be boned. Because this, I will admit, is kind of an anti-aggro hand. But this is most likely going to be some sort of control. So uh, instead of caring about the game, because... Magic uh, in 2020 is. <laughs> um, I'm going to answer some Discord questions. Born of the Night, Esper fan. Very long name. Very long name. Um, if you could add any number of Infect cards to Historic, how many and which ones? I don't know that I... I like Infect. Um, according to Mark Rosewater, Infect is one of the most polarized... Um, or polarizing Magic the Gathering mechanics. Uh, some people absolutely love it. Some people absolutely hate it. Um... So people look with more than they hate it. Oh, you mad? I thought that you'd be happy I made it. I'm the cat by the something toasting good <laughs> to the good life. <laughs> no. uh, so I can't play a blitter. Maybe I shouldn't be running all these specialty lands. By specialty lands, I mean uh, Cabal Stronghold. Field of the Dead, I think, is a necessity. This is... Or, sorry, Field of Ruin. This is probably a Field of the Dead deck, if I had to guess. Do I just want to drain this? This isn't killing anything else, so fuck it. So I actually want to save this. Because I can't I can't play Phyrexian Obliterator this turn anyway. So I would like to save uh, save the swamp for when I can play this. Um I like Infect. Right. I like the mechanic. I think <laughs> Let me see the field. Let me see the field. Wow. Man, I, I really love that field of the dead is uh is legal in this format. I think it's uh, I think it's really great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw a card. The, the nice thing is our deck actually doesn't necessarily hate going up against Field of the Dead. Um, because we have Massacre Worm. And um, if they have 10 tokens out, they lose the game. <laughs> so, it's not actually all that bad. Um, <sighs> Infect might help against, you know, ramp decks or, or something... But I'm not sure that that's the case. If I top deck another land, then I think I do just Masker Worm 246. No, oh, darn. So I think what I want to do here is. I think I want to play the arena. Yeah, I want to play the arena. Yeah, I think I want to get rid of um something. I'm not sure what. I could attack, but I think I'd rather save the Heartless Act for something like a Golos. So actually, I think I want them to play another Field of the Dead. To Fairy. To Fairy's unfortunate. I assume he's gonna bounce my arena. I'm no Might bounce my, my presence. All right, bounce my presence. Sure. I have a plan.
Let me put that in. Okay, sure. Ow. Ow. Do I draw lands? I don't. I draw a bajooka bug. I guess that counts. And I think I'm just going to Gary. Gain a little bit of life. Maybe I shouldn't have Elder Support either. I mean, this is four. So as long as my opponent doesn't have a counter spell. My Masker Worm can do some cool Don't things. Worry. I got this. So that's five, so I can do ten damage. I mean, I'm going to block one. I prefer to not be very low on life. Okay, cast Larden Veil, Swamp. It didn't do anything, so I'm vaguely worried. Yeah, I'll cast it. If it gets countered, I'll just have to concede. I like. I no longer like. Um, shoot. I'm going to be honest with you all. I didn't see the scape shift coming. If I were to add infect cards, if I were to add infect cards, I would not add Blighted Agent. For sure. Oh my god. I can't actually... Dude, what is with Arena's thing? <laughs> Bullshit the fuck out. Yay, they lose another two. And then I'm going... I'm letting my opponent... Like, okay. Sure, my opponent is literally playing, like, Field of the Dead ramp nonsense, but they're playing Scape Shift, right? They didn't have to play Scape Shift. So, so you know, when I, when I realized it was Field of the Dead, you know, I dropped them down, right? Let's let's say every, every opponent starts out at a solid 5 out of 10 in terms of douchebaggery. As soon as I saw it was Field of the Dead, or excuse me, as soon as I saw Yorin, it dropped down to 4. So, so, realize it was Field of the Dead. Dropped down to three. But that scape shift brought him up, brought him back up to five. Brought him back up to five. My opponent, since they have this avatar, already starting off at a solid six. No, uh, no, no companion? Mm, blue black, though. Could be an issue. What, what I'm saying? Um, so, things like, uh, Blight Mamba, I think are good to have. Uh, Blaze of Colossus, no. My opponent's on Salt Tide. They're back down to five. Um, just, ah, man. I really feel like I should hold this bog. Like, I really feel like I should hold this bog. I, I think I gotta hold the bog. I was right to hold the bog. Yeah, okay. So then I can, I can play bog. Next one, I can play Stronghold into Presence. Little we'll Spiral, alright. So, Salt Eye Ramp, uh, so they're down to like three right now. Two, four, six, seven. My opponent could play an Ugin next turn. I have played my fourth land, and my opponent might have double the mana. And then play an Ugin. You know what? Back to five, baby! <laughs> Look, ramp into Ugin, 
Bad person. Ramp into a merchant ultimate in combo. Oh. Oh. Up to seven or eight, dude. Freaking forcing the Omniscient's Underworld Dream onto me. Nice. All right. Choose a card to be shuffled into your opponent's library. I mean, I choose... Uh, you can cast the other cards. Well, shoot. Okay. Um... So if I give them Omniscience, right, they choose themselves. Um, I think the correct decision is here into the Abyss. Right, if I put Omniscience back, then they just do this and I die. If I put this back, they Omniscience... Yeah, so I think I have to put this back. So I'm still in not the best of spots. Because they do have, you know, an Omniscience... And I, you know, am playing black, so I can't deal with this. I'm not mad. I just, look, here's the thing, right? On, on the face of it, for these, both of these last two decks, on the face of it, Awful, annoying decks. You know, we have we have Urian Field of the Dead, and then we have Saltai Ramp. Except the way they killed me wasn't, oh, a general grind with Field of the Dead, where my opponent is just killing everything of mine and slowly getting zombies. No, they scapeshift comboed my ass. Fantastic. And then the next person... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some changes. And then the next person, they, they ramped. Maybe they're still playing Ugin, but that's not how I died. <laughs> I died into a Merchant Ultimatum combo where I freaking died. For what it's worth, that was turn four. Not the nicest of things... But still, um, yeah, let's yeet Elder uh, I don't, don't think I want that. Um, I think I want Gary's. Um, I like the bogs. I don't know if the stronghold's necessary. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna double up on swamps. Uh, anything else that I think is kind of meh? Um, honestly, you know, uh, we're gonna we're probably gonna yeet the grasp of darkness. That seems like maybe that's more of like a, a, a sideboard thing. I was considering having these agonizer remorses. But I was like, I don't know. But I think I'm going to do this. All right, let's, let's, let's see how this goes. Right, I made, made a few adjustments. <sighs> let's see. See, so yeah, I think I think probably just black and green infect creatures. Uh, I will like Blight Mamba, Blight Widow. Um, Contagious Nim. Maybe Core Prowler. Sis Bearer is the best. Flenzermite is hilarious. Glistener Elf is fine. It's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Um, Icar Rats, which apparently is Icor Rats. I'm going to say Icar. Um, Icar Claw Mirror is fine. Excuse me. Icar Claw Mirror. No, it's Icar Claw Mirror. Uh, Alright, we're, we're seeing four colors again. No Yorian, though. Um, just, gonna, just gonna cast this. We have a Eugene. But uh, not a lot of mana for it. Not a lot of Paul mana for it. I don't even know who that is. Um, not not Nexus. Not Eighth Month Nexus. Necropede, probably fine. Uh, Fraction Crusader, probably fine. Uh, then of course you have to have the main ones. Frexian Hydra is a is a dope one. Um, Juggernaut, Swarm Lord, um, Vault Mother, um, Plague Singer should be fine. And when I say should be fine, I the hell. Well then, I have no way of dealing with that on board. All right, well this is gonna get yeeted. So right now my opponent is at um, about two. <laughs> I'm going to kill that, by the way. Do I kill with tendrils? Nah, tendrils can do better. I'm, de I'm definitely not going to uh, castle this turn. Uh, I guess I'll just cast a Gary, though. Can Gary into Gary. Although I do love Priest of Norn. I'm th the thing, right? My friend, I've drawn my I've drawn my cards. I really don't care. Um. Uh, 
I think I just Gary here. Do a little bit of damage. A little bit of Monica in my life. Eyes Wrath, sure. Can I draw a Swamp? I would not hit a Swamp. That is not a Swamp. Right now, my opponent's deck is a two. Oh, come off it. My opponent's uh, now at a one. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Let's slow things down. Uh, they're at a zero now. They take my mask room. They're at a negative five. I mean, the correct decision here is taking Murder's Rider. That's what I thought. I love the Zack Nice Rumors. I need more mana. <laughs> wow. That's a threat, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. For what is... I, I just... I don't know. You leave my mask room alone. I mean, we're probably boned. Probably should concede. What is my... I guess because they're Esper? And they just wanted to land that tap for two of them? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to concede. Technically, I could play the thing, but... We're gonna, we're gonna make another modification. Um, Born of the Night, Esper fan. Are you a fan of this? Born of the Night? Really? Um, they also asked, how do I like my marshmallows? I like mine once they've been set alight. Uh, same. Uh, a s'more is not a s'more if your marshmallow has not caught fire. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go here. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do artifact, three mana, boop. Uh, we're gonna hit up um, th where this thing. We're gonna, we're gonna have three of them. Uh, we're gonna honestly screw that card. I don't need it. Have three of those. Oh wait, wait. Heraldic Banner. Huh? Is Banner better than Pantheon? Pantheon does help my Garys, but Banner makes all of my creatures a little bit stronger. Although I don't have too many creatures anyway, I think I think it's better to have pantheons. Yes, sure. But nightmare probably not gonna be useful. Uh, I'm gonna up my remorses. Cool. All right, making modifications. You know, you gotta be flexible. You gotta be more flexible than I am. I'm not. I'm not very flexible. I'm not. Dude, check out my sweet, uh, my sweet gray plaid pajamas. The yeah, I, I stream handsome PPZ. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, I stream in my pajamas. What of it? You think I'm gonna get dressed? <laughs> Please. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll keep this. Going second is not the best. Uh, we got waifu sleeve plus a uh, waifu avatar. So, uh, so far they're starting off with a six. Let's just start rating my my opponents. Um words. Uh, still gonna play it. Query asks an odd question. Ooh, excuse me. 
Who do you think you are? But they're playing elves. Okay, they're just playing ramp. Uh, they're down to a four. Um, I think we hit the cultivate. I can kill Nissa with Moomin Rider. I think, honestly, I think we hit the cultivate. I, uh, maybe, maybe it is Uro. Because we do exile Uro with uh, Agnes and Morse. Uh, the only fear is that uh, with ramp decks, their their top decks are going to be like nuts. So, so next turn they can cultivate play one. No, so they wouldn't be able to cultivate and Paradise Druid. I think I'm going to hit Uro. I think it was close. I might be wrong. It might not have been close at all. Then on my turn three, I'm going to hold up Moomin Rider to kill Nyssa. They'll have a creature lands, which theoretically I could kill. Um, yeah, Queer asked a weird question. Uh, if you had to transform into a creature from any myth stories, what would you choose? Follow up, if you had to move to any non-real world to live as you are now, where would you go? So for the first part, if I had to transform into any creature from any myth stories, blah, 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 I'd choose a dragon. Like... I mean, obviously it depends on the exact form of dra What the hell? Did my opponent just rage quit? That I took away their Uro? I don't know. Um, and depending on, you know, the mythology and whatnot, dragons are incredibly powerful, um, often quite intelligent, and typically... Immortal or near immortal, right? They live for a very, very long time. Um, you did say creature, so I'm not going to go with a cop out of like actual deity, um, because technically speaking, <laughs> you know. So I'm, I'm going I'm to stay away from that. Um, if it were non dragons, um, possibly a sphinx, maybe uh, the the smart, knowledge rid Ridley kind. Um, they're, they're relatively long-lived, and they're just smart asses, So, probably that. Um, let's see. Uh, if you had to move to any non-real world to live as I am... The thing is, I'm a weak, unhealthy piece of crap. I am uh, currently the heaviest I've ever been, uh, but not in a good way. Right? I, it's not that I have some gains. Uh, I, I just have been snacking too much, essentially. Um, so I need, to, I need to get into a workout regimen, but uh, I'm a lazy piece of crap. Uh, yeah, I guess my opponent rage quitted. Because, I mean, it's, theoretically, you know, th theoretically, they could have um, DC'd, but, I mean, I guess they can't play that song. Play this! Woo! Sure! Um, just, yeah, just uh, waiting on my opponent again. Sure, whatever. Um, what the hell was I saying? Right. Uh, I'm like a piece of Garbo. I mean, I, I have knowledge, right? So that could theoretically help me. If I had to ch move to any non-real world... Another issue is that I don't know of many non-real worlds. Um, I'm trying to think of one where not only will I survive, but I'll thrive. Um, because I'm assuming, right, if I'm going there as I am now, I don't actively have, you know, magic abilities or whatever. Theoretically, depending on where I go, I might be able to learn those things. Um, but I'd be starting essentially from scratch, right? So... I rule out pretty much, pretty much any Magic the Gathering plane. The majority of them have a ton of strife. Kaladesh is probably the best one, but even then, they're like they're just waiting for a Fraxian invasion. Um, I mean that sincerely. Like Wizards is probably planning on uh, going to, <laughs> to invading that that place. Um, I'm trying to think of anime. You know, a lot of those are also not exactly the uh, the safest place to be. And yeah, of course, like, I'm thinking of my safety, of course. Like, I don't fuck. I don't want to die randomly. Uh, I mean, we got a Reno, we got removal. I'll take it. Baby. And I'll, I'll start off with the, the Swamp. Now, opponent using Jaya, Avatar, no sleeves. Already down to four, unfortunately. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if they can go up from here. Gruul. 
Ah, but Gilded Goose. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let them back. I'm gonna just use this. I'm not gonna put them into five territory. I'm not gonna put them back into five territory just yet. If they attack me with the Gilded Goose, that's seven territory right there. Jun. Jun sacrificed. Unfortunate. Um, we're sticking at four. We're, we're sticking at four. Had to do it. Um, extinction event is hopefully going to be quite helpful. Um, I could potentially just kill this outright, but I think I'm going to go with a an arena just so I can uh, get my card draw on. God, nowhere safe, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I can't think of... What, what is the media that I consume? Um... End of the Gungeon, no. Slight Inspire, no. Hollow Knight, no. Um. Ooh, okay. You're gonna blow up my arena, you piece of shoot. Alright, I'm going to... Probably play the Baron more now. Never mind, I got a lock point. Uh, I am just going to kill her, though. I don't need any of this. I will probably end up cycling Baron more at the end, so. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere I'd rather live. <laughs> because, like, you you do get a cool factor. Don't get me wrong. You absolutely get a cool factor. But, you also get a dead factor. <laughs> and I don't want that. Oh, cool. I'm going to attempt to eat the priest. They let me eat the priest. I am surprised they didn't sack her to the oven. It, free food. Not gonna lie, I'm... Well, you confused. My opponent uh, does not appear to be... rocking too much stuff here. I mean, there's Gary. I mean, honestly? Scorch the Earth, right? The moment where I'm realizing I only have three lands. Bruh, I feel bad for my opponent at this point. I feel real bad for my opponent at this point. I'm going to attack first. This is a uh, very sad J Junsack deck. You know what? Just just for that, I'll put you back up to five. All right? I, I, nowhere. I, I can't think of a single place that I would, that I would like, rather be in. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. No, not my dread presence. How could you do this to me? I'm still gonna Gary you, so. Take that, I guess. Uh, also, you'll have to kill the Gilded Goose if you want to, um. If you want to kill my dread presence, so. Yeah, I mean, if if you're going all on my Dread Presence, I think that's fine. I'll be upset if I draw a Swamp, but, you know. Castle. Oh, I'm so stupid. I sacrificed to make mana, dumbass. <sighs> Silly me. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and, um... Gary! <laughs> Thank you. And uh, then I'll swing with my sweet 5-5 five -five Trampler. Here you go. Quoth the Raven asks, How do you feel about the last question? Asking uh, about what you'd kin. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and be real nice here. Um, anyone who legitimately thinks... Okay. Uh, 
I study psychology. I know what I'm talking about. I also understand how evolution of biology works. Anyone who legitimately believes that... Could you stop? Uh, anyone who legitimately believes that they, in some way, uh, used to be an animal, um, you know, are, are currently uh, an animal, um, a non-human animal, I should say, um, you're wrong. Um, you, you are a human. You, you cannot provide evidence other than uh, subjective feelings, which, frankly, mean nothing, um, that you are in some way, um, you know, a, a wolf or a, a tree or whatever. Um, that, that isn't how evolution works. That's, that's not how biology works. That's not how um, words are hard. Um, no, not my mayhem devil. You're at one. No, playing words right. Um, that's not how psychology works either. Um, now, if you if you like, you really like an animal. Uh, you really like the behaviors and mannerisms. Stop. I can claim the firstborn. Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna have to eat this uh, man devil. Shoot. Are you serious. Am I actually going to lose this game? Sorry, give me a second. Corvold can stick around, I doubt it. Corvold. Man Devil can stick around, I doubt it. Man Devil. I think I'm lo I lose either way, unfortunately. I, I need Man Devil to stick around because uh, then at the very least I can play my Murder Strider and hope that it doesn't get stolen again. Um, right. If you believe that uh, an animal is cool and their mannerisms and stuff are cool, then I have no issue with like really liking an animal. Like really liking an animal. Obviously, <laughs> don't, don't really like an animal. Uh, that that gets into some issues. Um, if you're pro bestiality, also fuck off. I don't care about you here. Um, they kept the red red source. They kept their witches open. Yeah, I'm kind of worried that I'm just going to lose to um. Um, I'm just going to lose to claim the first one. Because my opponent knew I had Murderous Rider.
Cool. If anything of theirs dies... Well, I still have Massacre Worm. And they die. Any creature of theirs dies. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. They got a mud. Instead of a swamp or a forest. Blood crypts. <sighs> got there. Awesome. Um, that said, I really like wolves. I really like all sorts of dragons. Uh, you know, any any shape, shape and size and form and stuff. Um, for what it's worth, um, I don't think Query technically asked like what I would kin, um, but for, for what it's worth, if, if you think it's controversial for me to say, as someone who, who legitimately studies psychology, um, as someone who pretty intimately understands evolutionary biology, um, if you, if you have a legitimate, uh, issue with me saying that, uh, kinning isn't real, um, I, I think you should take a, a, a hard look at, uh, whether or not you care about things you believe, uh, being, uh, as true as possible. Um, one of my ethoses, right? So this is this is one of the reasons why I say I am saltite colors. Uh, not saltite in general, but saltite colors, you know, black, blue, and green. Um, the One of the, the blue pieces of me is that I want to believe as many true things as possible and disbelieve, uh, or technically not believe, uh, as many false things as possible. If you respond to me saying um, that, you know, kin things aren't real, um, with something along the lines of, you know, psychology is, you know, science steeped in uh, racial issues and things like that. You're belittling my intelligence and my own ability to recognize when things are and are not racist. As a man with some brown skin, shut the gut. <laughs> um, once again, I will mention that any individual who feels this way I'm not going to say that they're, like, dumb or bad. I'm just going to say they have a an incorrect sense of reality. Um, there's one last question on the Discord right now, by the way. Follow me on Discord, link in the description, if you want to ask me some cool questions that I answer during the show. Um, Born of the Night, again, asks, do you follow the Cult of Stormcrow? No. The only cult of a two-mana creature I follow is the Cult of Thalia. Because Thalia is bae. Thalia is best card... Thalia from life. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut the hell up now. <laughs> I'd like to thank my lovely patrons for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support them in the show, you'll find these that down in the description below. Uh, you can probably tell that I'm a bit chipper today. A bit more chipper. Whatever. Uh, and that's that's dope. Um, oh, shoot. What? Um, anyway. <laughs> shut up. I'm getting distracted. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and tap like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I don't know. Until next time, I'll be one.